When is election day? I want to ask two things of all of us. The world is ungodly. I don't have a God sighting today. We all know the ungodliness going on. I heard it when Pastor Brad was speaking. People in the congregation were affirming him when he was talking about Judge Judy. I know we're all troubled by what's going on in the world today and by the representation we're being presented. The lies and the deceit, the mud slinging, none of it represents God. None of it represents honesty. I would like to ask that the members of our congregation from now until election day get down on their knees every day and pray that God will send someone godly, someone honest, a voice crying out there on that door that Pastor Brad showed where God is knocking. There's no knob. I don't know whether any of you noticed that. There's no door knob. He can't open it. We have to open it. Just every low person in the world, no one special, but us has to open it. I want to ask you to pray to whoever you like to direct your prayers to. I don't know if you have a, a favorite, Jesus, Mary, Joseph, one of the saints, but pray every day from now till election day. Get down on your knees. I just had a hip replacement, and Wednesday the doctor told me for the first time I can kneel. So I'm ready to do this. And I want to ask that you all do it, that every day we get down, and you ask, the second thing I want to ask is that you ask people you know to do the same thing. Faith can move mountains. Prayer can move mountains. I don't believe that there isn't a godly person out there, a good person to lead our country, someone that believes in God and the truth and honesty. And I believe there's a voice out there crying that we just haven't heard yet. And maybe with the help of God, with prayer from everyone, I'm going to try and talk to as many people. And I'm not a public speaker by any means. But it's just been asked of me to do this. And I'm going to go anywhere I can and ask people to lift up their hearts and their prayers to God that we can find a way out of the ungodliness in the world today. And I ask all your help, anyone here who leads a group in this church, please ask them to do the same. Hey, thank you, thank you. I wanna piggyback on what she said briefly. Pray for the people that you disagree with. If you're a liberal, pray for the conservatives. If you're a conservative, pray for the liberals. These people are, Jesus said pray for your enemies. We're not enemies, but we start to treat each other like that, and it doesn't have to be that way.